Now to the Philadelphia teenager whose graduation was memorable for all the wrong reasons. The 17 year old had her diploma snatched away all because of the way she walked across the stage. For more on what happened last week and why, we turn to Action News reporter Brianna Smith live outside Philadelphia High School for Girls in Olney. Brianna. Sarah, the recent graduate, is asking for an apology and calling for change after she did not receive her diploma on stage. Some school leaders say it's because she broke the rules. However, she argues she was just expressing herself during a once-in-a-lifetime event. She stole that moment from me. I will never get that again. Hafsa Abdur Rahman cried tears of humiliation instead of joy at her high school graduation on June 9th. The 17 year old says the principal warned students their families could not cheer or clap when they walk on stage. And I understood the rules, so I was telling in the video, I'm like, she like, do not say nothing because I want my diploma. I knew and understood what we were supposed to do. In this video, you can see Abdur Rahman dance across the stage. <laughs> and then hear the response from the crowd. She says because they laughed, the principal told her she could not receive her diploma. If they thought that I shouldn't like do the gritty across the stage and do the girls' high traditions, nobody should have been able to wave or blow kisses or do period signs because I feel like that's the same thing. So I just thought it was really unfair. Abdur Rahman says she's not alone. Three other girls did not get their diplomas on stage, but all of them did after the ceremony. The school district of Philadelphia said in a statement, quote, the district does not condone the withholding of earned diplomas based on family members cheering for their graduates. We apologize to all the families and graduates who were impacted and are further looking into this matter to avoid it happening in the future. Although Abdur Rahman wishes she had a better experience, she and her mother hope school leaders learned a valuable lesson. It's 2023. A lot has happened. These girls went through COVID together. I understand traditions and rules are set, you know, in place for a reason, and we're not saying that they should be broken, but it might need to be revised also. Now, Hafsa says it wasn't just about her, but this moment was also in honor of her, of her sister who was killed at 14 years old. Now, we reached out to the principal to talk about what happened, but she was unavailable to speak. And all need Brianna Smith, Channel 6 Action News.